Don't mind my car. It's for my next song, all this shit in the car. Um. What's oh, up? So... Hi, guys. This is going to be a un... This is going to be an unedited um, video. So, let me get comfortable. Um, so, um, first and foremost, I want to apologize to my supporters, especially the ones that genuinely fuck with me, give me. I want to apologize to you because, um, if I cause anyone any distress, worrying about me, yeah, sorry about that, um, yeah, it was, it was a bit selfish of me, um, if I'm honest, but, Yeah, I was I was just being selfish. I couldn't even put my earphone on airplane mode. My friends were calling me. People have been messaging. Do you know how many people haven't responded to you that know me in a, that my people that know me in real life? And I just yeah, I just um I just yeah, I just aired them. So yeah, I apologize. Sorry. I'm sorry. The thing is, I wanted to speak. But I didn't know what to say. I also didn't know... How to process... Full disclosure. For many reasons. Um... Yeah... God, sorry guys, I've been thinking about this all night long, you know, constantly, I haven't slept. Yeah, I haven't slept, I'm so like stressed about it. Um, and I just keep feeling different every, every, um, by the hour. One minute I'm calm, then I'm angry. Then I then I try and be feel, feel blessed, and then I don't know. Okay, before I even start talking about the situation, I need to explain something. I'm not gonna I'm gonna be honest. This video is probably gonna be an hour long because I don't even know where to start. I don't even know where to begin. Um, but the first thing I want to say is this, yeah. Um, yeah, so basically, you see, my you see, Lani, the, the character and stuff. Um, I've been hoping and praying, hoping and praying, wishing and praying that it will eventually take me somewhere great. I want to be a person that makes people laugh and I'm entertaining and people can, I can inspire people to just be themselves, be strong, be goofy, be true to themselves and be real, authentic and not perfect because I'm not perfect and basically I feel like my dreams are coming true a little bit because I've um I, I'm I'm not allowed to talk about it too much but this lady's helping me like level up so go from um YouTube to the next stage of my career. Um and you guys will see it soon. 
so the reason I'm talking about this is because basically in order for me to go to the next stage I have to um um I, I can't appear like I'm mentally unstable I know I'm not making sense but, but uh, basically what I'm, let's just say let's, let me just say it like this in order for me to like work with a brand <sighs> And showcase my personality they have to make sure i'm okay this is not helping so i can't let this situation um stop my dreams and goals no no fucking way bro no fucking way bro so i just i have to um i'm gonna put a couple pictures up maybe six or something today and put my picture up because no like everything i've worked hard for is um, could be I think that it, would, it could be taken away from me if I act like I'm not okay I'm not mentally unstable I'm just a bit hurt right at the moment but I'm okay I'm strong I don't want anybody to take my dreams away from me because they think I'm not strong I'm strong I can handle it get me I've been handling stuff I'm I'm good I'm strong I'm not gonna let this beat me so I have to put my pictures back up giving I'm strong so I'm not gonna let anybody take my dreams away from me I worked really hard I've taken a lot of abuse online for my personality I'm not gonna let my dreams shut up because of this fucking situation no way man no fucking way so to the matter at hand yeah I'm just gonna talk about it so i just want everyone to know that i'm okay get i just needed to be off socials and let me explain why i had to do that basically when we filmed this which was a year ago when we filmed this i i i feel like i was one of the only people that was kind of given a big bomb for the first time i feel like they kind of knew a lot of it i was given a big bomb for the first time so let me just explain explain something to you there's so much jesus i don't even i'm probably gonna have to do another video i just don't know where i just don't know where to begin cool Let, let's just dive into the nudes yeah first cool i sent mark more than one the f the one that was circulating and got released or whatever you want to call it when i when it released i went through my snapchat and i saw that it was almost a year old so now think about it who have i spoken to in the last year so i'm counting the guys i've spoken to it's like two guys the other guy and me are quite close on and off on and off but i'm Loki, the other guy was kind of like in love with him so is it him it's, it's a mad thing to think it's him so i couldn't really deal with it i let it go someone in east London now calls me and tells me it's for sure this guy and then i'm thinking like this is i'm gonna call him lark it's for sure lark i'm like really is it really lark it's for sure lark and then he and he goes i don't want to upset you lani but there's another one circulating there was two circulating not one two you see the second one the second one i made for him for him like live oh so it was th that's when i i knew confirmed it's him so then now um he's by the way he's calling me when it when it's leaked and and con consoling me saying it's really out of order someone's done this to you okay so cool i'm like okay um, I'm confused. I confront him, he lies. But in my heart, I know it's him. But for myself and for my own closure, I make up an excuse and I make up a story in my head, like, so I could dead it and heal. So I say to myself, you know what? He was probably, he was probably being immature. He was probably being immature and bragging to his brethren but uh, you know this is the thing i'm talking something like that it must have been uh, that thing 
maybe he wasn't laughing at you maybe he was just like like oh yeah look at this girl she's on me some you know how men can be a bit silly so i thought maybe it's just like that thing he showed his best friend and he got out of hand maybe it's a thing where he didn't mean it to go on the internet and embarrass me this is what i've told myself so when i'm on stage and they're telling me he did it maliciously and he's telling everybody you sent it to 100 man that's the first time i'm hearing that now because this guy is very very crazy and this guy has issues he's trying to I, I don't really care but he's telling them and the other girls that i'm this that and the third with what evidence he doesn't know that he doesn't know that at all he, he doesn't know any guys i've beat he even or in private he really tried to be like because he's from east london i want i need to do my cbr check on me who, who have you been with and i don't mind people asking me that because you know sometimes you don't want to you want to make sure you haven't been with someone's friend you couldn't find one guy i'd been with you the only guy he could find he could find one guy that i had been talking to and this guy had a nude of me this is the same guy that um esther 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 knows okay so you know oh wow the two guys I mean, it is what it is. Like, I can't even... <laughs> People don't know me in real life. I am way too emotional. I am way too emotional. I am way too... Like, you guys don't understand. When it comes to love, I'm a bit tapped. I get so deeply into people. I am not built for casual sex. I, I, I will break. I'm just not built for it. Uh, so um that picture of me is false and the fact that a woman wants to sit there and say yeah you sent it to bear man it was funny it's not funny i don't appreciate it now this the issue i have with her with her is and the reason i've come offline is because she act, this is now we've got into the meat and potatoes of the video it's mainly about this girl i don't know how to feel about her yeah i'm struggling i'm struggling because do you know me and her had um she had bigged me up about how i dealt with my trauma with my man with tw in my dm she'd been in my dms before that she seemed like a lovely girl we had spoken she seemed genuine why didn't she tell me then? If she told me then, I would have forgiven her because she was genuinely saying my bad line, didn't it? Like, like genuinely, I shouldn't have done that. I felt like on camera, it didn't... I'm struggling. I'm struggling. In my... In my heart, in my heart, I don't want, to tear another woman down. In my heart, I don't want, to, to, Put a, another woman through pain, anguish, mental health. Deliberately. I mean, deliberately. Like, I, I'm, of course, I'm not perfect. I mean, I mean deliberately. But I'm struggling. Because I want to forgive her. Because she apologised. Usually when people apologize to me, I feel like, um, I feel like a warm feeling. I feel like a fuzzy feeling. You know, like when someone says, oh, I'm sorry, I hurt you. And you hug, and you say it's okay. Mistakes. 
I would like that to be the situation, but I feel like she... I don't feel like she... I just, I don't know, something's not connecting. I don't feel like she's sorry. She's... I cried the whole... After filming this, I cried the whole way home. The whole way, bro. She, and she was outside with her friend. She saw me leave. She was outside with her friend and she didn't... She didn't... She has... She was following me on Insta. She didn't message me. Nothing. I just... I don't know. I just don't feel like... I don't know. I don't feel like... I don't know. I need help. This is... Can you help me in the comment section? Is she... Is she... She's sorry. I don't know, mum. I don't want to cry too much because crying gives me a headache. Water, water. I'm struggling because I um, want to press charges, basically. But she's like, I don't know if I should do that. Is that bad? Is that bad because she's been for a lot? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm so upset. How could she do that? How could she do that? And do you know why she did it? Because I am somebody who's... I, I wouldn't I haven't been in her shoes in terms of hating on girls but I've been in her shoes in terms of being in love. I can tell she was really in love with Mark or still oh, Lark Whatever man or still is, yeah? I can tell and I can I can I can relate to loving somebody with your whole arm, body, leg. So that bit I relate to and I feel like the reason she was mean to me it's, I feel like she wanted to respect Exeter because Exeter was the girlfriend and then me she didn't want to respect me because who who am I and the reason that was so pointless bro is because you belittling me to kind of make me so basically because she loves him this is the bit I understand Wait, because she loves him it's kind of like She's trying to protect her situation with, not protect it, but there's a certain aura of this is my situation with this guy, we've been through stuff, like, and all these other women, who are they? Like, it's, and I feel like that's how she was, she was, like, doing me. Um, but this is the ironic part. She didn't need to do that because let me keep 100% real with you. I don't care about my man. Like, you didn't need to do all of that because I don't care about him. Um, sweetheart, sweetheart, you know that saying another woman's tr um, treasure or whatever is another man's trash? <sighs> In life, when you date, you can date people that are very significant to you. Then you can date people who are, you, you like, like you like them a lot. And then you can date people that you did like them, uh, you know. He was a uh, to me. At the time, yeah, cool. I like, it was like six weeks, bro. At the time, I, I liked him. He wasn't my usual type because he didn't have bread, but I liked I liked him because he he seemed kind. Um, He was obviously charming because narcissists are charming. He seemed kind. So that's why I, um... That's why I, um... That's why I... Oh, fuck, man. Sorry. My train of thought. God, I'm just... Sorry. Yes, yeah, sorry about him. He, he seemed kind. So, um... And it was it was all right. It was not nice talking to him. And I thought I liked him a bit. And then, um, when I found out, I felt, I felt a bit embarrassed. And I was thinking, oh, oh, I thought it was a something. But then, like, I got over it within two weeks. And then... I'm not gonna lie to you guys, like, two weeks later, I don't even give it a F, two weeks later, after I found out, I, um, this is, remember, this is during Bat Chat, I called up, um, my favourite op, I went to, um, this is, oh god, I went, I called up my favourite op, and I went to his mum's house, and we beat, uh, like, what? 
I don't think I've ever said this um, on camera, but I used to have this toxic pattern, yeah, with with um, men or boys. So you have to remember, me and that boy, that was five years ago. So every guy I've dated since, oh shit, every guy I've dated since, which, um, by the way, it's a pathetic amount because I was broken and stuff. But every guy I dated since, let's just say it didn't work out and I felt shit. Sometimes you don't feel shit because you like the person. Sometimes you feel shit because you feel disappointed that you're struggling to find love or make a connection or find somebody and years are going past and you're like, oh, this is so hard. So sometimes you're mourning the difficulty of finding love rather than the person. So when it ended, I was embarrassed. I thought, oh, why me? Why can't I find love? But I wasn't necessarily heartbroken. I, maybe for the first two days, I felt shit and I was confused about my emotions. But with hindsight, I know I wasn't heartbroken because I got over the guy in two weeks. When I really liked someone, year after year after year, bro, I, 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 they, they sit in my in my spirit and my heart. So anyway, um, yeah, like yeah. So like I was saying, I haven't told people this, but. I had this toxic habit where if um, I was disappointed after a situation, I would call my man, my favourite op, and go there. Because he was the love of my life, um, nothing would, like, nothing really, like, what, it's kind of, um, it, it would remind me, like, bro, like, these niggas ain't shit, like, you... Like you're tr you're trying to force a connection, but this is the man you really love, or them. This is the 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 man that you're not over. You have to remember, I wasn't over him at this point, so it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. It's really unfair that. Um, she could say all that stuff on camera try and pay me out like i'm a some type of girl bullshit uh, that made me livid bruv livid i don't even get laid i'm the most unluckiest person when it comes to love even just sex like i even have i don't know if you guys know this but i've started talking to girls my supporters must know this. I've started talking talking to girls and um studs to be specific. And um I'm not even lucky <laughs> I'm not even lucky in that department. Um I'm, I'm gonna be so real. Um not they I'm not trying to say there's there's any um beef or anything. Just not lucky, like Yeah. Anyway, that's besides the, the point back to the main focus um because we can get into that another day but um yeah i'm definitely not out here that's fucking cap and it's fucking rude um i was jesus i was when i was watching it the other day i was so livid 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 and you know what i was told it's better to show a united front it's better to show women standing together. But something in my body, something in my body was rejecting this advice, you know? Like, every time someone told me told me that, my chest got tight. Like, someone's telling me, forgive her, my chest is tight. Let it go, my chest is tight. You laughed at me. You laughed at me while my whole breast is being spread in east london and people people are just talking about me and it, like you laughed at me and then it's not just like it was just a nude they was they was they was um a caption with it uh, or commentary that's the word i was looking for you lot saying they should send it to 100 man what disgusting Disgusting. Disgusting. It's just disgusting. You, you, it's, oh, it's just, it's just, 
and then people have the audacity to i mean it is what it is i, I guess it's fine but someone said to me on the phone yesterday people are always gonna judge you because you dress very sexy <sighs> okay I just I don't want to change who I am for you man because you guys want to be so judgmental I just like dressing sexy I just like it I just like having my tits out I like having my tummy I just like it I like BBL fashion I can't help it that's just what I'm drawn to I just like it but who um even though I may look like um I guess you call a girl that looks like that a baddie I'm not a I may look like a baddie but I'm not a baddie in terms of my personality my real personality is very soft I'm very very soft I'm not a baddie I'm not like a city girls type of girl um not that there's anything wrong with them they're badass bitches but no I'm, I'm not I'm I'm very soft I'm more well, I'm just like a fucking marshmallow. I saw someone making fun of me because I left the Winnie the Pooh quote up. That's me, I like Disney. I'm a bit of a princess in real life. Yeah, she's a pass. Um anyway. Let's just go back to the, the matter at hand, yeah? I did not fucking like how she spoke to me. Um, I don't know who you were to him. I don't want your guy, bro. Yeah? Let me make that very clear. I don't want him. I've never ever been wanting him like that. I will admit like at the time i thought i it was i thought i liked him i'm not gonna lie to you maybe that's my toxic trait there's a lot of people i'll talk to and at the time i think i like them and then um I, I'm, I'm just bored and he must have been one of those people because even after it ended two weeks later i was i was over it i, I, I had gone back to do a thing with what, what's his face let's so like we're not gonna do that like that must be my toxic trait because he's he's not the only person I've spoken to and we've had pillow talk and I like them a month later who are like I I sometimes do that I get bored or I'm do you not talk to people out of boredom like am I the only person that's done that you you that boy is was not that significant to me I don't care and I really it is Jesus it is Jesus it is it is my entire it's my soul I don't want to stoop down to him, his level. He's exposed my nudes and there's a lot of things I could expose about him because I've spoken to other women that have dated him. But I don't want to stoop to that level. But in, if we're going to sit here, if we're going to sit here and say that I was on this brother, because you're, you're acting a little bit, not threatened, I don't know what the word is, but you're acting protective of your relationship like I'm here to threaten it, when I don't want your guy, I don't want him, I don't want him, I don't want him, I don't, like, I don't want your guy, bro, I don't want him, he's ill to me, if I could, if I could say what I want to say, but I don't want, I don't want to, I want to be able to look at myself in the mirror. So I want to, I'm, 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 there are things, let me just say this, there are things about him that are so embarrassing, so embarrassing, so em true things, not like me sending my news to a hundred man or being a thought. That's cap. I'm talking about things that are true, 100% true facts. Facts. Girls know I'm not capping. There are things about this guy that are, are true, that are so embarrassing if I said them here. God will shake his head at me saying, Lani, don't, no, no, don't stoop to that level. Be a good person. And I'm being a good person, God. I can feel you right now. You're in this. There are things about this guy, yeah? Private things. 
if you know you know private things that are embarrassing private information if you have dated him then you know exactly what I'm alluding to private things about him in private things that he does in private that are embarrassing something about something private about private that's all that's all I'm gonna say on that matter there's not just one thing there's two things I'm thinking about but um I don't come on here and really say it but I don't want to be that person I want to talk directly to um Lark I think I want to end the video now so I want to talk directly to him I want to say something more actually before I talk directly to him I actually effed up a bit as well you know because do you know one time we were chilling in a car and he was telling me about this girl that he did it he he had dated previously you know like, sometimes you talk about your exes so he was just like oh, I used to talk to this girl oh, but she won't leave me alone she keeps texting me and he turned the phone over and he showed me pictures of her in her lingerie and for some reason for some reason I thought maybe he's only showing me because I'm the person he's talking to not that he has a right to show me I'm not saying that it's completely wrong but for some reason I thought maybe he's just venting and he's just shown me I never thought in a million years that it's his character to show people people's body and I came off the phone to one of my people and she said to me he always shows me people's um, nudes always this is the thing he does this is in his character He's done it. Like, he's he sent me girl stuff before. Not yours, like, in general. I never did anything to this guy. What did I do? When you met me, I was single. You were the one in a relationship. I was single. I didn't do anything to hurt you. I didn't do anything mean to you. Why did you do... Why? Why did you spread my thing? You're saying I'm, I'm a H.O.E. Why were you chatting to me? You know, this guy saying all this this bozo rubbish. After the batch I came out, after the, the thing circulated, were you not trying to tell me, oh, sometimes you can know someone for a very long time and sometimes you can know somebody for five minutes, but you can have a bigger connection with the person you know for five minutes? Like, let's not do that, bro. Like, you... It's, it must... I don't know. It must be something in your brain. I was nice to you. I was kind to you. I didn't do... I don't... What did I do? What did I do? Telling this stuff to these girls about me. Rubbing me out in East London. How dare you? How dare you? Anyway. And as for the girl, I think that's the reason I can't sleep. I already made up my mind about Lark. When it comes to Lark, he's not a nice guy. And I'm going to press charges. Yeah, I'm going to make a police report after I do my nails. But I am conflicted about the girl. Please help me. And you guys might think, why? Don't be a... I, I don't know what you think. That, that's for you to write in the comments. The reason I'm conflicted is because... Is she a good person? This is when people who personally know her maybe need to contact me. Is it a good person and she just did something out of character? I can actually get over what she did. I just want to make that clear if any of her family members are watching or anything. I can get over what she did. It's the way she delivered it and stuff. It's like, I, I would prefer if she was like, like of course I, I would prefer if she was remorseful and like ashamed and I'm just, Lani, I'm, I'm so sorry. But she tried to embarrass me whilst... It was weird. Um, so please, let me know, guys. Um, is she a good person and did something... Did she make a poor decision because she was in a bad relationship? And sometimes when you're in a bad relationship and you're being abused, 
you don't think straight is is that what it is like oh god even her story yesterday i watched it before i blocked her i saw that she put up on her story someone said you know what you did is can make someone want to kill themselves and she said domestic violence can make someone want to kill themselves and i thought bro but i didn't beat you they're talking about what you did to me why did you do that to me that's what they're talking about fam me can we talk about me for a minute why did you do that what did i do to you nothing why did you do that to me When I first sat down, I thought this would be so different. I thought it would just be women coming together and supporting each other. And then, no. Anyway, oh, Jesus. I want to say something, yeah, before I go. Um, some people tell me to rebrand. Shut the F up. Um, I'm not going to. Like, you guys are so weird and you don't... Some of you, not my supporters, I love you guys. Some of you are so weird and you, have, you haven't got minds of your own. I just want to be funny. I just want to be entertaining. When I, the only thing I have ever done that people would disagree with on such a big level, which is so strange to me, is the um, TW stuff. That's the only thing I've done that a lot of people have turned that nose about me, and I don't get it. Like, I was in every, my rights to do that, and um, I've even come to the point where, even though he hurt me, It's okay with him. It's okay. Yes, he violated. Yes, I have answers, but it's okay. For the simple fact that I loved that man. It's okay. You get it? It's okay, man. It's okay. So, um... But this situation, I didn't know what. It's so weird. I'm no one. Finally, finally, and finally, I want to end this video on a happy note. <sighs> one second. I always get emotional. I always get emotional at this part. Whoo! Hold it together, man. <laughs> Sorry, oh God, I'm trying to hold it together. Yeah, sorry, I just want to say finally. <laughs> I just... Sorry, I'm trying to get my words out without breaking down, like properly breaking down. I'm trying to compose myself. Sorry, like when I get like this, I just like my emotions are overwhelming and I don't wanna I don't wanna go crazy. So I'm trying to bottle my emotions and calm myself down. It's just every time I talk about this I get really moved. I just sorry. I just I can't even speak. Okay. Uh Get it together. Get it together. I just want to address my supporters. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Like, um, in just in general, being a Lani good supporter isn't easy. Like, I just want to thank you so much. So much. Like, you know, I'm such a black sheep. And you guys are support me. Like you just ride with me regardless of all this horrible stuff people say. I like you defend me and I see the comments. I see you guys in the comments. You defend me. And guess it when I was sleeping, even though I had anxiety, I could feel like your prayers. I could just feel your spirits with me. I just feel when you guys 
guys you are loved i know you love me thank you so much like <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much for caring about me. Thank you so much for caring about me and having my back. I'm so lucky. Even the DMs. I can't even. There's so many. I can't. There's so many. <laughs> so many. I'm just really grateful. Thank you so much. <sighs> Thank you so much. <clears throat> I feel your. I feel your presence. Like spiritually, I feel your presence. I feel your prayers. I feel you in my heart. I feel you in my heart. For all of you girls in my heart. And for any girl who's had anybody try and embarrass them. Have strength. Be strong. Don't let anybody beat you down or let anyone win be strong keep going there this ha these things happen but on smaller scales you like little, like young girls in school you can like you know you can um walk home with a boy and the next day he tells everyone in school that you gave him up these things happen and a girl will cry 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 and no one will believe her the same way i can say i'm the hoe and no one cares no one believes me because it's it's funner to think I am, isn't it? People don't care. People just want to laugh at people. They just want to laugh at you. So if anyone's going through that, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that's happening to you. Be strong. It will pass. People are mean. People are mean. People would judge you if they don't like something about your character. Or they don't like something about themselves. They'll make up lies about you. People are cruel. But do you know what? God. God is the one in control. And that's what you have to remember. God is the one in control. God loves you. God is looking after you. And God. God. God hasn't let me. Um, he hasn't let me lose. God is guarding over me. God, God, God is looking after me. God is protecting me. God is protecting me, and that's why He, he He's given me bigger opportunities. And I can't let these people win. And I have to put my pictures back on Instagram. And I have to be strong. And I have to go for my dreams. And I have to keep being funny. And I have to keep being myself. And God will bless me. Okay. Uh, um, eventually God will give me someone that loves me for me like just genuinely loves me and somebody who's gonna have my back okay and it will happen for you guys God has got me and they're good people in this world they're horrible people but they're good people as well remember that when you feel down when you feel down remember not everyone's bad not everyone has a cruel heart or cruel intentions People are kind, people are good, people are loving, people are forgiving, people are understanding, people have compassion. And you, you just need to find those people. Those people exist. I'm gonna go now. I just want you guys to let me know whether you think I should press charges on Bianca. And don't just say yes, just tell me. I'm gonna read the comments, so please tell me in detail why or whether you think I should forgive her. Um, because I am willing to I just need some advice and guidance I'm 50-50 anyway love you loads oh I, I'm I'm fine it's done for we move bigger and better things ahead of me forget this shit <laughs>